According to the United Nations, more than 300,000 Syrian citizens have died in the last 10 years. War is still ravaging the country. In an interview with Euronews, UN Syria Commission Chair said these figures reflect the gravity of the situation as it does not include fighters killed in the conflict. And, and something that uh, the report reveals very clearly is the absence of the protection of civilians and no faction, uh, no party in the conflict in Syria care about uh, the protection of uh, the lives of the civilians. That is the reality. He also regrets the double standards in terms of hosting refugees when comparing the treatment received by Syrians and Ukrainians. For me, involved with the Syrian crisis for 11 years, it's very depressing uh, to see this difference of treatment. That is, uh, there is open arms and generosity vis-a-vis -vis the Ukrainians. That I, 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 I don't criticize this at all. They deserve that. But I'd like uh, very much that the same treatment will be applied to the Syrian refugees. Asked about the possibility of bringing the war crimes committed in Syria to the international criminal courts, he recognized that national courts are taking the lead. For the time being, I don't see any uh, uh, possibility in the horizon for the, for the referral to the inter, uh, international criminal court. And in the present uh, uh, international juncture, uh, it's, uh, it's impossible because... Uh, the veto, most likely the veto for this referral will be repeated in the Security Council. That is the problem. That is positive that so many European countries are doing, are prosecuting and in some cases condemning uh, 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 people uh, uh, that committed um, uh, crimes against humanity or war crimes. Last January, a German court found a Syrian colonel guilty of crimes against humanity and sentenced him to life prison. Nima Radekpour, Euronews, Brussels.